And today I want to bring you a harsh truth about game and about life, which is that it's not always supposed to feel good, okay? A lot of times the path to victory is not the path of pleasure. In fact, if it was, it would almost by definition not be the path to victory. If the things that would help you succeed in life felt good and were easy to do, everybody would do them. Therefore, almost by definition, in any competitive field, what you need to do to succeed must not always be fun. If it were, if it were fun, if it were easy, everybody would do it, and therefore it would not have the capability to set you apart, okay? So what a lot of people do in life, in general, and also in game, is they take the easy way out. And it seems expedient in the moment, it seems to make things work in the moment. Take for example, say you're in school, and say you're given a test and you didn't have time to study for it. And so you feel like a more simple solution to dealing with that particular test, instead of studying, instead of like staying up all night, working super hard, getting no sleep, not having any fun, easier solution is just go in the teacher's desk, get the answers for the test. And you get to ace the test, you get to be top of the class. So easy, worked out really well for you. You beat the system, that's excellent. Except the next year, you're gonna take another class that's gonna build on that same class and you're going to have to learn it then. And then maybe this time you can't cheat off the teacher or maybe this time you get a job and you have to know those skills and eventually you actually have to learn the shit. And now, instead of having the knowledge and just having to study the one class, you have to study years and years back. You have to get fundamental knowledge and actually every step along the way you've been understanding things less well because you didn't have that baseline knowledge and your job has become far, far, far more difficult in the long run because you didn't take the pain up front. Because you took the short term easy fix solution and then eventually you're found out. Eventually you're found out as lacking because you didn't get the fundamental skill, okay? It's the same thing in game in a lot of ways. There are a lot of shortcuts to game. A long time ago we used to do canned game, right? Try and come up with all these different sorts of um, little answers for everything, ways in and out of situations, having the right response, figuring everything out, having a formula to try and emulate what an abundant, cool, successful guy would do. But the problem was, you can't have a solution for everything. You can't have an answer for everything, and eventually you run out. And at that point, you're found out. And it creates a lot of heartbreak. It creates a lot of really big frustration. What happens, actually, is you still get rejected by the same girls, but you just delay the rejection by half an hour, an hour, two hours, three hours, six hours, and waste a ton of your time. And you fundamentally miss the skills. Worse yet, you get addicted to the positive feedback that you had from doing things that way. And the longer you do it, the harder it is to unlearn it, the harder it is to go back and do it the right way. So, most of the time, it's more important to get the education, to get the learning, to get the process down up front instead of having the short-term success. One other area that this crops up a lot is actually in running a set itself. So many guys, probably the biggest single mistake I see sort of like intermediate type guys make in game is they game to what feels good. They'll go in the set, they'll run it for a little bit, and then as soon as it starts to go south, as soon as it starts to not feel quite so good, they'll just let it go silent. They'll feel like, oh, the girl was being boring. They feel like, oh, she's not that hot. Oh, I'm trying to build momentum. They give themselves some excuse, and they'll leave to maintain the good emotions instead of sticking in there, instead of sticking it out. Or another one is, they stay and just talk to the girl and never deal with the girl's friends because the girl's being nice to them, the friends are likely to be mean and they just hope and pray and cross their fingers and say please, please let it work out with the friends instead of proactively trying to make it happen. Now I've been on a really nice hot streak lately and I've been trying to think to myself what is it that's making this happen and I think what it is is that I'm really beginning every set, every interaction with the end in mind. I'm beginning every interaction with the goal not of feeling good, not of getting validation, not of having little highs along the way, but of getting to sex, of getting to that ultimate victory. And so, when things are going sort of well and they seem to be okay, I'm not just satisfied and not just enjoying it and not just saying, oh, look at me, how good am I on top of the world? Instead, I'm thinking to myself, how do I win this? How do I make this work? What's the next step? What's gonna fuck it up down the line? How do I proactively work on this? And so instead of being confronted with problem after problem and set, I'm seeking out the problem. And rather than dealing with them when they're large and insurmountable and surprising, I'm dealing with them when they're small and haven't really come up yet, and I can deal with them. And I'm the one going to the problem as opposed to the problem coming to me. For example, I know that there are certain excuses almost every girl's gonna give me. Uh, I have to get up early in the morning. I'm with my friends. I'm not that kind of girl those sorts of things. So what do I do? 
almost from the beginning of the set, almost obnoxiously early, like within like a couple minutes of the set sometimes, I'm starting in with things like, we can't make the sex tonight, uh, I have to get up early in the morning, I'm catching a flight, I'm not that kind of guy, I'm shy. And the funny thing is, by having all these objections before her, when she brings them up, they seem silly, right? Because I know the objections are gonna come out. It makes the conversation awkward. It's actually really weird. How weird is it? You just start a conversation and somebody's bringing up these weird topics. It's fucking psychotic almost. But it is effective and it's thinking ahead. Same thing with the friends. If I see a girl with like two or three girls, I'm not thinking to myself, oh good, I hope this is just them because I have wingmen for that. No, I'm like, hey, is it just the three of you tonight? Hey, what are you guys doing? Hey, are you, what are you out for? Are you having a big night? Who drove? Where are you from? That kind of stuff finding out the logistics because I know I need that information and I'm willing to leave if the logistics aren't good or I'm willing to do creative things if the logistics aren't good but I'm working ahead all the time. I'm planning for the future. I'm looking at the real purpose of what's going on. Just as the purpose of school is not for you to get an A on some test in fifth grade, go home, show it off to your friends, whatever, the purpose is to prepare you for the next grade, the deeper learning, the next level of success in your work, the next level of success in life, to prepare you for what's to come and to allow you to achieve what you really want on a deep level, not on some superficial bullshit level. Similarly, the goal in life should not be pleasure, should not be some little short-term bump, should, but should be a happiness that's earned, achieved, and meaningful. And again, remember, whenever it feels really good and feels too easy, that's great, enjoy it, but you're probably not achieving very much because the parts of life that are easy and fun, everybody's doing those. If you really wanna set yourself apart, it's a, it's a series of choices between the right decision and the easy decision, right? And every time you make the right decision, you will achieve. Every time you make the easy decision, you may have fun. You may not go backwards, but you're not going to do something truly special because everybody's doing that.